So this year I've been on a full mission to use up everything that I already have as far as materials go in my office to um, save money and use what I already have and to show my team that it's totally duplicatable to do that as well as it's totally okay to use pumpkin felt if you have it to make summer samples, which is that what I did this summer. My customers do not care. They were still able to smell what the um go go mango inspired collection smelled like even though it came on a pumpkin or an acorn or a scentsy christmas tree felt sample <laughs> so this year um, or this holiday collection 2023 i have this photo paper that came with my printer that i never use so it's just taking up space so i took a return address label Put, typed all five of the scents up here for the holiday collection, cut them out and I've put them up here. And this is a really thin piece of felt that I got off of Amazon. I really didn't love it when I got it, it was so thin. Um, but it actually sticks to this photo paper when the wax is wet. And I'm gonna stick it in a clear bag envelope. And I'm gonna be able to mail these to my customers for one stamp because they're so flat and so thin. So use what you have. Where are you, what is, what is the saying? Do what you can where you are with what you have. And that's what my 2023 motto has been this year. And so far it is working out and I'm using up a lot of my supplies and I haven't had to buy supplies off of Amazon for several months. And that is wonderful to me. So be, remember that your customers, the smelling does the selling and they really wanna just smell what you have to offer them. And that it does, you don't have to break the bank in order to make the prettiest, Samples, is this gorgeous? No, it's not. Is it going to be effective? Yes, because they're going to be able to peel these off and smell them if they want to. They can actually melt them in a mini warmer if they wanted to, to get just a hint of what it smells like when it's warming. Um, but this is where I am right now, and this is working out just fine. And I will be able to mail this to a lot of customers for a lot cheaper than I would if I was cutting these samples or pouring them into molds and sending them to my customers. They're still going to order. They still appreciate it. They still know I love them. They still know that I'm trying to get them samples um, and being as cost effective as possible. And so anyway, I hope this helps you and just know that your samples do not have to be completely gorgeous for your customers just to turn around and melt them and or throw them away, which is what a lot of my customers had told me that they do. They smell and throw it away. So all that hard work and time and energy and pouring melt or uh, mold waxes into molds and then paying the extra postage because it's too thick and too heavy just for them to throw it away <laughs> that hurts a little bit right so i'm happy that i'm going to be able to send these out to a lot more customers this year and get that to them again for a stamp because these are super duper thin have a good day